uh, people think we're uh, two peas in a pod or like the Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I painted. I used to write. I used to walk and be a race walker. Uh, was in marathons. I became involved with the Wayne Gretzky wedding through Nathan Graham. I looked after the Basilica with lots of help. I have uh, designed for the festival lots and lots of trees. Or I got a glass down from the shelf, glass of water, drank the water, and as I put the glass down, it tunneled. You know, my vision and something, a voice in my head said, you're having a stirp. It's very strange coming to an empty house. When you're used to having a conversation every day with somebody, your mother or whoever you're living with, and then having nobody, it's lonely. My sister, Patty, she said to me, maybe it isn't about you. And you think, not about me. I'm the one who's crippled, crippled arm, crippled leg, can't talk, you know, everything. And, um, but you started thinking about it. And when this ambulance, uh, the special ambulance, the stroke ambulance, when it came up, I thought, that's what I should be doing. So classically, when people have a stroke, the, one of the biggest problems is getting them to care fast enough. Now, the Stroke Ambulance Project, which, which will be the first of its kind in Canada, and really only a, a, a handful of similar projects across the world, will treat stroke in a different way. Rather than bringing the patient to the hospital, we're going to be bringing the hospital to the patient. But the stroke ambulance will be dispatched and will meet an incoming ambulance. You'll transfer the patient into the stroke ambulance. We'll scan their head and we'll actually be able to make decisions about treatment. We'll be able to uh, give clot busting drugs. I wish it was different for me, but it's not. This is it for life and uh, have to accept that. But it could be better way better for other people.